are great musicians that I've known since 1955 when we first met, and still one of our great musicians almost 40 years later just arrived. So I'd like to acknowledge this guy. Since Bach is jazz, this is equivalent to saying that cars began with automobiles. It makes no sense. And the Lionel Hampton that jumped into the audience wailing a saxophone in Kerouac's first paragraph ought to be told that the Lionel Hampton the rest of us knows plays vibes and drums. Finally, the word is hipster, not hep cat. Like the whole article was a drag man, Jack is a no blow. Well, Jack Kerouac had to live with things like that all his life, and they contributed to his uh, moves, as you can well understand. But thankfully, the Escapade article goes on to include some more pro and con responses to Kerouac's work on writing about Bob. And I'd like to end with one that they end with by a man from West Point, New York, who I assume is in the military academy there. At least I hope so. His name was Gary E. Stem. And he had the truest word, I think. Kerouac, he writes, does not ask us to follow his philosophy. For if we did, then we would all once again be playing the worn out game of follow the leader. Rather, in his very thinking, he challenges us to be ourselves. The other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is that I, uh, I was hearing Ray Manzarek and he mentioned the fact that when he read On the Road that he was drawn to the spirit, spirituality of Kerouac. That is something that in this play, again, if you all come to it, and I, have, I really hope you do come, because it's, this play is a very beautiful, that sort of wrap this play around Kerouac's spirituality, uh, which I think is sort of a, a, a little known fact about Kerouac. Um, I think it's very important to point out that also Langston Hughes as a poet and writer was the first major American to deal with jazz and poetry both as music and language and that Patton, who is a great hero of mine as well, was that next link as far as a white poet getting involved with black musicians and also that uh, it's just, it's very important to, to bring out this uh, delineation and history and that people like Pearl and Getty and Kerouac were very influenced by Patchen and by Langston Hughes. And uh, Patchen, I guess, as we all know, is very unheralded, and I just want to point it out. <laughs> Ancestors, uh, uh, I think the first time that I saw Billy Holiday, you, which happened when I was 12, I came to realize that that was perhaps maybe the turning point in my life in terms of uh, uh, there was someone during the performance, which I remember as though it were yesterday. What I saw I had never seen before it took my life and made it a part of her life. A similar thing happened in 1955 when I saw Carmen Amaya. When you see that kind of greatness, you know that's what you would, would like one day to achieve. And you lose all consciousness of self becomes this morale. You know, it is the perhaps the ultimate spirit 
which comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes and forms, and in and then and all kinds of. So it's not really ghosts that haunt or torment, but really musings that that inspire. just a continuum, because the art was here before we arrived to partake of its beauty. And we just have a little time to make our contribution, because it will continue after our, our bodily composition change. Ein bisschen 